In this video we will see how to measure angles in radians. We know that one common unit of measuring angles is degrees and if we have a ray then one full rotation of this ray back onto itself forms a 360 degree angle. Half of a rotation forms a 180 degree angle and one fourth of a rotation forms a 90 degree angle. Another important unit of measuring angles is the radian. To define one radian we need to draw a circle. So let's draw a circle and let the radius of this circle be r. Then we will draw an angle whose vertex is at the center of this circle. Such an angle is called a central angle. So again an angle whose vertex is at the center of a circle is called a central angle. Now let this be the initial side of this angle. Then from this point where the initial side intersects the circle we will draw an arc that has the same length as the radius of this circle. So again along the circle we need an arc that has the length r. This length is the same as the radius. And now through this point we will draw the terminal side of this angle. Then this central angle whose intercepted arc is the same as the radius of this circle has the measure of one radian. So then let's write that this angle has the measure of one radian. And this is one symbol that we can use for radians. Now let's see the definition of one radian. One radian is the measure of the central angle of a circle that intercepts an arc that has the same length as the radius of the circle. And one radian is approximately 57.3 degrees. Now let's consider another circle. This circle also has the radius r and now along the circle I will plot this distance r twice. And now through this point we will draw the terminal side of this angle. Then the measure of this angle will be two radians. Now let's have one more circle. This circle also has the radius r and now along the circle we will plot this distance r three times. And now through this point we will draw the terminal side. Then the measure of this angle will be three radians. Now notice the following. In any of these circles if we take the length of the arc and we divide it by the radius we will get the measure of this angle in radians. In this circle the length of this arc is 2r because r plus r is 2r. So if we take the length of this arc which is 2r and we divide it by the radius which is r then r and r will cancel and we will get two radians. In the third circle the length of this arc is 3r because r plus r plus r is 3r. Then 3r divided by the radius r and r cancels and we get 3 radians. The same will be with the first circle. If we take the length of the arc which is just r and we divide it by the radius r then we get 1 and this will be radian. So as you see the measure of an angle in radians tells us how many times the radius goes into the arc. Now let's see the definition of the radian measure. To the right we have a circle with the radius r and a central angle that intercepts an arc of length s. To find the measure of this angle theta we need to divide the length of the arc by the radius. And this is exactly what we did in the previous examples. Now let's see one more example. Here we are given a circle with the radius of 8 inches and an arc with the length of 40 inches. Then we have to find the measure of this angle in radians. According to the formula above 
To find the measure of the angle theta, we have to divide the length of the arc, which is 40 inches, by the radius, which is 8 inches. 40 divided by 8 is 5 radians. So this is how we find the measure of an angle in radians when we know the length of an arc and the radius. We just found the measure of this angle and it is 5 radians. But do you know that if we would have a complete rotation, then the measure of this angle would be approximately 6.28 radians. So let's see how we can get 6.28 radians in one full rotation. For this we will consider another circle and the radius of this circle again it will be r. Then we are looking for the measure of this angle in radians. From the formula above we know that to find the measure of angle theta we have to divide the length of the arc by the radius. In this example the length of this arc is the same as the circumference. Recall the formula for the circumference of a circle from geometry. The formula is c equals 2 pi r. Then this is what will go in the numerator of this fraction. So then angle theta equals 2 pi r divided by the radius r and r and r cancels and we get 2 pi. Also recall that pi is approximately 3.14. Then if we replace pi with 3.14 we will get that the measure of the angle is approximately 2 times 3.14 which is approximately 6.28 radians. Let's show this in the circle to the left. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and a little bit over 6 radians in one full rotation. This is how many times the radius fits into this circle. Now let's talk about the symbols we have to use when we work with degrees and radians. When measuring angles in degrees we write the number and then next to the number we write a little circle that represents the degree symbol. For example we can write 5 degrees. Now when measuring angles in radians one symbol we can use is RAD for example 5 radians RAD or we may choose to write 5 with no symbol at all. This also means 5 radians so when there is no symbol then it is assumed that this number represents radians. We can also choose to write 5 radians as a complete word. All these notations are acceptable when working with radians. But when working with degrees we have to make sure that we always use the degree symbol. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.